Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to this video. video. In this video, we'll look at B class 1000 horse FLSM example. FLSM means fixed set length subnet mask. We have the B class IP address given to us 7172.10.0.0 slash 16. The requirement is 1000 host. Now we'll look at this two power table. The exact thousand host is not possible. So we have to look at what's the closest one. So if you look at the table 2 to the 9, 5, 12 is not enough. 2 to the 10, 10, 24 addresses is possible. But we lose two addresses, one for network ID and one for broadcast ID. That means we still get 10, 22, right? Minus 2. Two will give us 1022 addresses which is more than this thousand host requirement right so we can go with 2 to the 10 so straight away we know the new slash value remember the magic number I have mentioned in the previous video 32 2 to the what power 2 to the 10th power right we simply minus 10 from 32 we get 22 so our new slash value is slash 22 this will be slash 22 I'll show in a different way also in just a bit but remember whatever the uh, power right this is 2 to the 10th power we minus it from 32 to get the new slash value so this 10 right let me tell you this is 172.10 so let me write it down like this 172.10.0.0 so this is a b class address right so in b class slash 16 means how are we getting this slash 16 as you might know we have eight ones here one two three four five six seven eight and then another eight here one two three four five six seven eight right these two eight plus eight is 16 this much is the network part right and now we have zero zero also one two three four five six seven eight right and then another zero here another eight zeros one two three four five six seven eight eight zeros under this zero this is the host part right and then eight zeros under this zero so 16 is already taken so we can start borrowing from these eight and uh, also from the last octet so this 2 power 10 means we are we are keeping 10 host bits so that means we need to do this from right to left okay that means this much is 8 right this much is 8 we are keeping right and then these two actually let me do it like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 we are keeping like these 8 right plus 2 here right 8 plus 2 10 right that's 2 to the 10 power so this 8 and then this 2 from right to left okay this is the host part right this is a host part that means we are converting the remaining 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we are converting these 6 into network right so we were at slash 16 now we converted six more 16 plus 6 slash 22 this is the another way also you can find the new slash value this much was already slash 16 right plus the 6 slash 22 simply minusing uh, from 32 it depends on which power in this case 2 to the 10 32 minus 10 22 so both ways you can find out now we need to find out the block size and the subnet mask 
so subnet mask is slash 22 right so we have values 128 64 32 16 let me write it down so we can see we have values like 128 64 uh, <clears throat> 32 16 8 4 to 1 right so this much was slash 16 we converted 6 more bits 1 2 3 4 5 6 what's the value of the last bit borrowed 4 so this will be the block size for each subnet we increment by 4 so that means we need to add 128 plus 64 that is 192 plus 32 is 224 224 plus 16 is 240 240 plus 8 is 248 plus 4 is 252 okay so we can figure out the uh, subnet mask like this now we have the network ID we have the broadcast ID we always start from whatever given to us so 172.10.0.0 is the network ID is the network ID okay the broadcast ID is this is increment is 4 right but we cannot use the entire 4 so 1 minus 4 is 3 so 172.10.3.255 this is the broadcast ID the valid range for this particular subnet is 172.10.0.1 this is the first valid IP we can give to the host in this subnet and it can go all the way to 172.10.3.255 is the broadcast ID so 3.254 is the last IP we can give this in this particular subnet right then we have to start from 4.0 because 3.255 is the broadcast ID we cannot go beyond 255 so we have to start from 4.0 but remember we only need 1000 host so each network like 0 network will give us 0 from 0 to 0 0.255 will give us 256 addresses same thing with uh, 1 dot zero right so if i write it let me show you so we can see so it's 172.10.0.0 right and that will go 172.10.0.255 this is 256 addresses right but we need thousand so we need to keep going so we need to start at 172.10.0.255 uh, 1.0 because 0 0.255 we cannot go beyond 2, 255 so we need to move on to 1.0 now this will give another 256 addresses 72.10.1.255 right this is also 256 256 plus 256 is 512 but we need 1000 so we have to keep going okay now we have to start at 172.10.2.0 because this entire one network is taken so we need to move on to two this will give us 256 addresses also and this will end at 2.255 but this will 256 plus 512 plus 256 is uh, 768 right so that's not enough we need thousand so we need to keep going 172.10.3.0 and this will end at 172.10.3.255 and another 256 address so 256 times 4 is 1024 right so we can stop here for this requirement 1000 host 
we can stop at 3.255 but 3.254 will be the last uh, valid IP addresses that's what I was uh, showing you here 3.254 this is the first subnet so only the first subnet is enough for our entire thousand host requirement so this much will satisfy the thousand host requirement and you can see it here entire zero network will give us 256 addresses one network will give us 256 addresses two network will give us 256 three network will give us 256 addresses 256 times 4 is 1024 but we only need uh, 1000 minus 2 uh, uh, 1024 minus 2 is 1022 but still we only need 1000 we are getting around 22 uh, addresses we can use for future use within this subnet so hopefully this helps this is the b class 1000 host requirement we just saw if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment session uh, we'll look at some more examples in the next session. Until then, stay tuned. Thank you and good day. Bye-bye.